like and subscribe right now, or the spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Nature is beautiful, but when touching trees comes with a warning sign, it's time to stay away. Some trees are so toxic that they could potentially end your life. Now, before you make the mistake of touching a tree you aren't supposed to, let me tell you the 15 most dangerous trees you shouldn't dare touch. Stay tuned. Number 1. Pencil Cactus The pencil cactus tree is quite phenomenal. This tree can grow in any environment if it's given some ground to stand on. As much as this tree native to South and East Africa is adorable for its amazing survival skills, there's a dark side that you're about to learn about. The pencil cactus produces a viscous sap of toxic latex that's poisonous to both people and animals. The milky sap can irritate skin and result in redness, rashes, burning, and other side effects. One more reason for you to stay away from the pencil cactus is that it could cause blindness or irritation to the eye upon the slightest contact. Number 2. Castor Bean Seeds Would you believe me if I told you that castor bean seeds are actually poisonous? How could that be possible considering that they're used for birth control, leprosy, and constipation? Well, meet the two-faced monster plant. In truth, castor beans naturally contain the toxin ricin. Ricin, which is produced when castor beans are eaten and consumed, can be harmful. The poison from the castor seeds is normally found on the outer coating. This outer layer has the potential to harm major body organs such as the liver, kidney, and pancreas. This leads to serious side effects. Number 3. Rosary Pea Abris Precatoris don't let the name fool you into thinking it's just another beautiful tree with a bad reputation. Spoiler alert, this entire plant is extremely toxic. However, its red seeds that are spotted with black at the end of them are way more poisonous than the rest of the tree. Rosary peas are poisonous, yet accidental eating usually doesn't result in any severe symptoms since the shell shields the body. However, if a person eats or chews more than one pea, they risk becoming ill. Rosary peas seldom cause severe symptoms, which typically result from purposeful consumption. These seeds can make you feel sick to your stomach, throw up, have diarrhea, and more if you consume them. Number 4. Angel's Trumpet, Brugmansia If you're ever going for a walk, you'd better watch out for the angel's trumpet. Their name derives from the enormous, striking, trumpet-shaped blooms. These can be single or double and can grow to be up to 12 inches wide and 8 to 20 inches long. The spectrum of color includes white, yellow, pink, orange, and even red. The flowers have a citrusy scent that's most pronounced in the early evening. The angel's trumpet appearance is quite hard to miss, regardless of all its beautiful traits. Not forgetting the name as well, this is a very toxic tree. The plant is poisonous in every aspect. Intense thirst, speech and swallowing issues, nausea and diarrhea, fever, disorientation, hallucinations, delirium, dilated pupils, seizures, and coma are just a few of the symptoms that may appear. There have been a couple of passing records from the angel's trumpet. Number 5. Kunti Plant, Zamia Integrifolia Although the coral plant is only 3 feet tall, the damage it causes is far greater. This plant typically resembles a tiny fern. It has strong subterranean stems and stiff, glossy, feather-like leaves. It's the seeds and the cones that make the plant dangerous, even if the entire plant is poisoned. It just takes two seeds of this dangerous plant to injure your dog, and just four seeds might be lethal. You'd better stop judging a book by its cover. Number 6. Dumb Cane – Dracania I'm pretty sure you've come across the dumb cane. For some reason, it's the one plant that gives you the chills before even tasting it. Well, trust your instincts, because this plant is no joke. The moniker dumb cane refers to the momentary inability to speak that can happen after biting off a portion of the stem. Chewing the leaves will result in profuse salivation, a sharp burning sensation, a swelling of the lips, mouth, tongue, and throat. As a result, the person has trouble breathing, eating, and speaking since their tongue is frozen in place. Despite its many benefits, this plant is nonetheless poisonous to humans who chew or consume it. Avoid letting your dog near this plant, especially if he enjoys chewing on the leaves. 
the tongue, throat, and lips might get injured or inflamed as a result of dumb cane plant poisoning. Number 7. Oleander Who would have thought that the brightest flowers are the most poisonous? Usually, oleander ranges from pure white to soft yellow. Peach, salmon, and pink are all present, as well as deep burgundy red. Oleander is so poisonous that people can become ill without even ingesting it. They can become poisoned by just touching the sap with their bare hands, or by breathing in the smoke from burning oleander. Number 8. Poison Ivy I mean, the poison ivy. The form, color, and texture of poison ivy leaves vary widely. While some leaves have smooth edges, others have ones that resemble jagged teeth. The leaves may become yellow, orange, or crimson in the fall. Poison ivy produces small greenish blooms, and green or off-white berries can be seen on poison ivy. This plant usually looks so underrated, but it normally causes severe red swollen skin, blisters, and intense itching within hours of contact. Usually, a poison ivy rash goes away on its own in a few weeks. But until it does, the itching is unimaginable. Number 9. Brazilian Pepper The Brazilian pepper tree is a tiny 3 to 10 meter tall evergreen shrub or tree, occasionally 15 meters. The bark is gray and smooth, or beginning to develop long, thin, flat ridges. Aromatic and resinous perfectly describe the sap. Brazil and Paraguay are home to the medium-sized evergreen Brazilian pepper tree. The thick clusters of tiny berries that are produced by this shrub-like tree become deep crimson as they mature from the tree. An itchy skin rash and occasionally swelling and inflammation of the cheeks and eyes can result from contact with the majority of Brazilian pepper plant components. The fruits and blossoms may irritate the respiratory system. Many people get similar allergic reactions even after simply pruning Brazilian pepper especially when it's in bloom. Well, if you can't prune it without getting a rash, then just let it be. Number 10. Stinging Nettle Nettles have opposing leaves and may grow up to 5 feet tall. The leaves can grow to be several inches long, have rough teeth, and are pointed at the tips. Younger, smaller leaves have a more heart-like form. Stinging nettle, as its name suggests, stings painfully thanks to microscopic hairs on the underside of its leaves and on its stems. The tips of the leaves and young stems of this herbaceous plant are covered in stinging hairs that contain formic acid and other irritants. When touched, these needle-like hairs inject stinging acid into the skin, causing a burning, tingling, and itchy rash. Thankfully, the symptoms seldom persist for more than 24 hours. Interesting to note is that the cooked plant can be eaten safely and is regularly eaten as a vegetable. Number 11. The Eastern Cottonwood Eastern Cottonwood is a large tree with weak wood and deep roots. Cottonwood trees originated from eastern North America, Chicago, and the Midwest. And although these trees aren't poisonous, their danger exists in the threat they can present. Since they've got a wide range of roots that make them branch out and grow invasively in an area, it's potentially dangerous because of the weak wood. You don't want to trip and fall. Number 12. Manchineal What's sweet-smelling but has a peppery taste when ingested? It's the manchineal tree. The manchineal tree is one that dislikes having both people and animals around it. In essence, all trees contain extremely potent toxins. Its milky white sap contains forable and other skin irritants, which can induce severe allergic contact dermatitis. In actuality, the most dangerous tree on the planet is the manchineal. One taste of the fruit can be lethal, and touching the leaves, sap, or bark can cause agonizing blisters. You'd better keep your hands off. Number 13. Hogweed this is a tall, cow, parsley-like plant with thick, bristly stems that are sometimes spotted with purple. The blooms are white and held in umbels, which are flat-topped clusters with those of cow, parsley, or carrots. Each umbel has flowers pointing upward. The hogweed is a very invasive and poisonous exotic plant. Both health and environmental risks are present. Human skin lesions resembling burning are brought on by gigantic hogweed sap contact and exposure to light, natural or artificial UV radiation. Blistering and swelling of the skin are commonly seen within 24 hours. Number 14. Tread Softly 
The perennial plant, tread gently, also known as bull nettle, spurge nettle, or finger rot plant, is indigenous to the southeastern region of North America. The plant has stinging hairs all over it. It grows well in sandy, poorly drained soil conditions. Despite having nettle in its name, it's not a nettle. As cute as this plant looks, it's been proven to be poisonous to make our count. The many stinging hairs that cover this plant's leaves, stems, seeds, and even blossoms need gentle movement to avoid being stung, as suggested by its name. The hairs contain an irritant that, in some people, might result in a rash. If handled, the plant's microscopic stinging hairs can produce a scarlet rash and an unpleasant stinging feeling. The effects aren't severe, but the discomfort might last for an hour. Number 15. Jimpai Jimpai the Jimpai Jimpai stinging tree, one of the most poisonous plants in the world, may leave unwary people in agonizing anguish for months. The Jimpai Jimpai has sawtooth margins on its wide oval or heart-shaped leaves, which give them the appearance of being hairy owing to a thick layer of stinging hairs. They also have white or purple-red berries. Stinging hairs are also found on the fruit and stems. These leaves give their victims a severe allergic response that can occasionally result in anaphylactic shock. People have said that the agony from the sting can be terrible and incapacitating for months, and it can feel like they're being electrocuted, acid burned, or squeezed by enormous hands. An instantaneous excruciating stinging and burning pain increases in intensity before peaking 20 to 30 minutes later. The stings might return if the area is squeezed firmly or cleaned with hot or cold water for up to six months after the hairs have been embedded in the skin. Until next time, adios.